Welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks for Pro Tools. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the new improvements we've added to the Relative Grid workflow inside Pro Tools. Relative Grid is one of Pro Tools' most helpful features when it comes to editing. It allows the user to snap clips on the timeline in relation to where they originated on the grid. We've now added the ability to copy and paste clips while retaining their place on the timeline relative to the grid. Now, when you copy and then paste a clip, Pro Tools will remember the offset from the nearest grid line. Let's take a look. So again, we wanna make sure we're in relative grid mode. And now, when I select that clip, I'm gonna go ahead and right click and copy it. Of course, you can use a shortcut as well. And let's go to this grid line right here. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and right click and say paste. And you can see that the relative offset is maintained close to that grid. Now, of course, the same thing applies to the MIDI editor on specific notes. So if I double click this MIDI clip, make sure I've got relative grid on in my MIDI editor, I can now go ahead, copy these notes and relative to the grid, if I wanted to place them elsewhere before or after, it's gonna go ahead and keep that relative grid as well. Very, very helpful. Now remember, even if you happen to change your grid values, the initial grid value that was being used when the clip was copied is what relative grid will remember when you paste the clip or the notes. So for instance, I've gone ahead and copied this clip here. Now my grid value is currently set to bar. If I go ahead and change that to 64th note, if I move over here to this grid value, this bar over here, and I'm off a little bit, let's say here, and I go ahead and paste it, Pro Tools will still remember my initial grid value, and that's what it'll use when pasting. This edition of Copy and Paste for Relative Grid will really help speed up your editing workflow. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.